Damon, feel comfortable out there now? How would you describe your AFL experience at the moment? Yeah, obviously a lot more comfortable than uh, probably my first two years. Um, I did play a couple of games like in my first year and second year, but to be playing you know, continuous AFL footy has certainly helped my confidence and yeah, feeling a lot more comfortable. So Sandy being out and uh, Griffin, and that's really it's sort of really helped you in terms of it's given you the opportunity to play and you've gained confidence from it? Yeah, obviously those two boys have been struggling to get on the park the last few weeks especially. Um, so it's kind of put me in the first ruck role. Um, and that's probably what I've played mostly in my junior career and uh, I'm probably one of my more comfortable roles. Um, and, yeah, I've taken a lot of confidence out of playing there. Did you surprise yourself on the weekend even? Did you, like some of the marks you took and some of the pieces of play were amazing? Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, we practice not, not some of those set plays like that, but um, it was a pleasant surprise, yeah. Yeah, it's obviously pretty difficult, but at uh, the same time, you know, it's good to have someone uh, with senior experience, especially someone like Aaron, who's probably the best ruckman in the comp, or one of, uh, you know, to, to listen to and to follow in your first few years. You know, you're pretty inexperienced and need a bit of guidance, so I think I've, yeah, that's helped me quite a lot. When he comes back, do you believe he gets more game time than what he would have previously, because of the way he played recently? Uh, look, hopefully I'll uh, have a position as second ruckman, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, obviously when the sub rule came in, there's a lot of talk about, you know, only playing one ruckman and pinch hitter, but I think a lot of teams have seen the benefit of playing two two uh full ruckmen. Um, sitting one forward, and yeah, obviously it's uh, yeah, it's good for me. You, I remember going to watch a waffle game earlier in the year. You were playing for his Perth. I think you spent most of the game centre half forward, between centre forward and full forward. Yep. And did right much. I think you, as you said, that's where you played. Looking back to then, it probably seemed like quite a long way. You weren't running to getting back as a ruckman. How does it feel looking back in the earlier part of the year? And does that remind you of just the fickle nature of football, the way things can change? Yeah, obviously it's. Uh, you know, it depends who's in your team and where your team's at. But earlier in the year, I was playing a lot of uh, footy forward. Um, and then uh, there was talk, obviously, of me moving off of clubs. But, uh, yeah, I'm very relieved to be back in the ruck. I do enjoy playing forward and um, obviously played a fair bit there last year as well. But I do, yeah, my favourite role is probably ruckman. What about when you're playing the wing? When Carl said, look, when you're playing the wing... <coughs> what was your reaction initially? Uh, yeah, Harv's kind of wetted me up in the pre-season that you know, I might, he might chuck me on a wing and see how I go. And we did a bit of training with uh, Mickey Barlow and just about running, uh, running patterns in games and that. Um, so I think it's probably helped me more when I ruck, um, being able to run and you know, use my running ability a bit more. Have you always had this enormous tank? I mean, for a big bloke, it's almost phenomenal. Where did it come from? Um, I've always been a pretty good runner, yeah. I uh, probably started back when I was you know, a young fella doing little athletics. I was always a, uh, a long distance runner, you know, 800, 1500, and yeah, it's kind of just kept going from there. The ruck rolls have uh, changed dramatically over the last couple of years, I guess, with the influence of Nat Nui and, and Co. You're, are you adapting to that as a, as a young ruckman as well? You know, that running capacity, you're still having that influence in the uh, ruck contest? Um, yeah, well, obviously, <clears throat> running has been probably what I've always played my footy like. I, you know, I always use my tank to my advantage or try to. And um, obviously, yeah, it has changed a bit with you know the more athletic ruckman. But I think that probably suits me. What have you learned specifically off Sandlands? Oh, it's pretty hard to put it down to a few things, but you know, just everything. Probably when I first came to the club, my first year, just professionalism. The way he goes about his footy day to day, um, on the field, just everything to positioning and yeah, just little tips and tricks. How big a challenge has it been for you? You um, didn't play a lot of footy before you got drafted, and then you have to move into state and, and adjust to that and the professional sport and rucking with Aaron Sandler and stuff. How, 
how much of a challenge has it been to, to adjust to it all? Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, it's a big change, obviously, coming across here for my first year is a bit of a shock, but at the same time, I've really enjoyed my time here, and um, look, at times it has been challenging, um, but, you know, the coaches and that and all the young players are always there to help you, and, yeah, they've made it a lot easier. We've seen a lot of players from different sports enjoying success in the AFL, obviously the basketball background, has that helped you? Yeah, I think so. You know, there's a lot of guys coming through that do have a basketball background. Um, a few ruckmen and a few a few other blokes, but uh, I think it does help. Um, you know, basketball, you've got a lot of, you know, in close work and, you know, quick reflexive stuff with your hands and hand eye coordination. So I think it does help, definitely, yeah. Club signed up really long term, um, which is a good show of confidence in the year. Um, it, was that a time when you felt that, that you would be next in line when Aaron started to? Yeah, I want to move down the pecking order a bit. Um, look, yeah, I, I would have liked to have thought I was probably close, close to the mark, but in saying that, I still had a lot of work to do. And so I was, yeah, pretty relieved that the club, you know, gave me that security and showed that faith in me so early. And, and when John Griffin arrived, there was more competition for you. What were your thoughts then? Oh, well, you know, it only takes one injury for us to, you know, be in the deep end. I think Griff's shown that. Uh, he's been really valuable this year. Um, earlier in the year, I was probably struggling a bit f through injury and that, and to have Griff sitting on the sidelines ready to go was, yeah, a big plus. So have you grown much since you've been at the club, or have you pretty much stopped growing once you got here, or have you grown a bit since you got here? Uh, I think I've probably, yeah, hit my peak as I got to the club, so I haven't grown too many centimetres since. And what made you decide between basketball and the footy? What, what was the take us through that process? Um... <coughs> Probably uh, opportunity in Australia. Uh, basketball in Australia is probably struggling a bit. Um, a lot of opportunity in footy. Um, a lot easier, kind of, to, you know, to get a get a start earlier. Um, so yeah, I'd, I've always enjoyed my footy, and I'd, yeah, come draft day, I yeah was pretty pretty happy to be drafted. And what do you know of Robbie Warnock? Robbie Warnock looked like he actually came back to form on the weekend. And Cruz, do you know much about that? Oh, I've played against Cruiser, yeah, and obviously seen in Robbie this year. He's in pretty good form, so, yeah, it'll be another challenge. The um, debate about whether the rising stars should allow, include players who are not first-year players that's been going all year because of Luke Shuey and Dyson Heppel, how do you feel about it being nominated now as a the more, the more older player? Yeah, well, I think um, the criteria is pretty spot on, you know. Blokes that have played under 10 games are still pretty raw. Um, pretty, you know, new to the game or young in uh, experience. So, I've, yeah, I've got no problems with it. Especially big blokes, like some say, big blokes take longer. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Um, obviously, ruckman and key positions probably take a bit younger than, a bit longer than some of the, uh, you know, ready-built midfielders that come into the game at 18. So, yeah.